So we're really pleased to have this uh, 2012, I know it looks like a 2010, we'll, we'll get on to that, a 2012 110 XS utility uh, in stock. Uh, we've just bought this off the uh, off the last owner. Um, it's a one owner car, sorry I should say it's a two owner car, but it's been owned by the same guy um, through his business and, and then and then privately. So it's a non-VAT qualifying car. Um, and uh, it's been in his ownership from new. He bought it from Williams Land Rover in Manchester uh, and it's been serviced uh, regularly at main dealers and specialists throughout its life. Um, it's finished in Santorini black with um, boost alloys and the, the sort of standard cross-continental tyres. Um, it's got the uh, really nice uh, Brunel front end, i.e. the, the, the grills and, and the light surrounds. And as you can see, uh, this one's got LED lights headlights and side lights and indicators. Um, I'll just go on to the number plate quickly, it's XS110 Huey, um, that's included in the sale uh, and obviously it's a 110 XS um, which is nice and Huey is the registration number of the first ever Landy Series 1 built in 1948, um, Huey 166 I believe. Um, really nice number plate to have uh, but it is a 2012. Um, nearly 96,000 miles on the clock but my god it's in great condition for that age um, it's been really well looked after the paint works lovely we've given it a full sort of machine polish and uh, sorry we're losing a bit of light here but I think you can you can sort of see the the, the quality here um, we've also done all the um, the rear rear bolts uh, on, on the uh, and on the cross member uh, it's been uh, wax oiled from new, um, so it's got the rear stainless bolts, um, it's got stainless bolts on the hinges too, and um, on all the door hinges. This just really helps to sort of lift the look of the vehicle, especially when you sort of tie it in with these good to see unpainted um, pot rivets on, on, on the side of the Defender here. Um, it has got a, a sort of aftermarket side grill side vent there um I, i've left that on I, i'm normally normally quite like to keep these things looking as standard as possible on the outside um i think it's personal tastes can can all get a bit muddled with these i've left it on uh, we, we've got a a standard um vent there uh, if you should so wish and we, we can fit that um we've um also please excuse the state of the lower grill just there we're going to take that off and, and refinish that, so uh, that'll be looking as uh, as good as new. Uh, let's have a quick look, um, see if we can see. Is there any damage? Yeah, there's a oh, tiny mark there. Um, these window blocks here, we're changing these. This is standard stuff on a Defender. If you don't know your Defenders, these are basically made of cheese and they sort of rot very quickly so we're stand we're going to change those for nice um, aluminium black ones so that that'll be changed um there's a tiny little mark there um and there's a slight mark on the on the roof line there i think we're obviously where a roof rack's been fitted um but i mean that really is it there's a couple of there can you see just there? I'm being sort of super picky and I feel a bit bad sort of taking this thing to pieces because it's done you know, 96,000 miles and looks absolutely superb for it. Um, let's have a quick look inside um, and you can sort of see how, how nice it is in there too. So, um, being an excess, it's got the, uh, sorry I'm trying to lighten this up, but it's got the uh, leather, half leather heated seats. Um, we've put these corner protectors on here because th these edges do get worn slightly when you're getting in and out. Please excuse the the mud on 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 the uh, on the panel there. Um, and then here you've got uh, the dash, which has got the AC um, heated seats down here. Um, it's got the uh, Bluetooth stereo, which is linked to the microphone up on the dash there. All works really nicely, um, and the interior is absolutely immaculate. Sorry, I'm struggling with light a bit here. Um, it's got a standard headlining, no no Alcantara headlining on this one, but the seats are in in lovely, lovely nick, and the steering wheel is not worn out or or anything like that. To the back, 
Again, the seat's looking really, really good, Nick, here. It's got Land Rover rubber foot mats, and also another Land Rover item, you can see, is the Land Rover dog guard or load bay guard. This is really, really nice item. Uh, it just en en enables you to fill that bat load area up, um, and uh, you don't get any, any sort of chance of stuff flying through so it really makes it nice and safe um i'll uh, put another video up of the uh of of the uh, load area because it's just it's full of stuff at the moment um but we've uh, put a rubberized checker plate matting on the on the floor uh, and it looks absolutely immaculate it hasn't been worked this vehicle it's been a a private vehicle so it you know it's not ruined um and uh, has been driven very lightly Everything feels good on it. I think we might put two new rear tyres on it. Um, and we've gone through it mechanically and can't see any any issues at all. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely thing. Please do give us a call. So let's just recap. It's a two-owner car, but owned by the same family throughout its life. It's done 96,000 miles. It's got a really nice private registration number on XS10 Huey. It's got LED lights all round, including headlights, which are absolutely amazing. Uh, we've done the stainless steel bolt kit. Um, throughout the entire car including on the front grille and etc there um, it's been wax oiled from new um, we're going to put new window blocks on um, we're going to put two new rear tires on and we've also painted the rear cross member with um, a, a really nice product that we use um, that we find gives yeah, the best finish and also, more importantly, last. It's not just a sort of quick overspray. And we don't, we're not mad on the, on the gloss um, rear cross members. I think they look a, a little bit, little bit too much. Uh, and, and this sort of just brings it all, all, all down to earth a bit. So there we go. Look at it. I mean, a spectacular looking vehicle. Please come and have a test drive. Uh, we do part exchanges. Um, we, we can introduce you to various people for lending, etc. If you want, um, we're very, very sort of low pressure. Um, and uh, we love this vehicle cracking thing come and have a drive and uh, any questions do give us a call but it should everything should be in the write-up that you require thank you bye-bye